It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Don't even worry about it. Okay, everybody. So what we're gonna be using today to, for our base for our model is this mannequin head. It's for hair cutting and things like that. But I was able to come across this. And what we're gonna be doing is some prosthetic work. So I'm gonna be using liquid latex and cotton balls to build the structure uh, of the face we're gonna be doing. We're doing a witch today, so that's the idea. So I'm gonna show you some clips of a witch we already have done, so you get the idea of what it's gonna look like. Alright, so for the first uh, thing we're going to be doing with this mannequin head, I have it set up on this block here so I can work and show you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to be using liquid latex, you can get this anywhere, it's really inexpensive, and cotton balls. So I set myself up with just a little tray here that I have the liquid latex poured in, uh, and I'll be dipping the cotton in and then working on the structure. Now this is my reference I'm using, um, and as you can see from this here, what I'm going to do is build up the features here because I want to over exaggerate kind of this snarling face, uh, more of a chin for the witch, the pointed nose, uh, the cheekbones, and also the eyebrow ridge here. So that's what I'm going to be working on first. I'm going to lay out the major structures in this face, and then we'll go with some of the more detailed work like the, uh, the teeth and uh, the moles and things like that. All right, so with cotton balls, they actually just unravel like this. And uh, I just take the entire thing, I'm going to dip it in here, then you just take the cotton, make sure it's fully saturated, and as I watch some of this here, I'll start with the eyebrow ridge, I'm going to kind of follow that idea. Okay. So you just stick it down, it's pretty tacky, just work it in to the face, and as you go, this stuff will start to dry, and when it dries, you can kind of manipulate it and pinch it in places so it'll give you more of the look you're going for. And you can always build this up so you don't need to worry about it being exactly even on either side. Okay, so for my reference uh, piece here, I'm going to continue the eyebrow ridge that comes around the face here. I want this to be exaggerated. And I just can basically connect it right there. And press it into the mannequin head and kind of follow the already uh, prominent features of the face, just exaggerated. And if you're looking at it already, you can tell the detail in it. Like I said, we're going to continue on. I'm going to make this cheek uh, coming down a little bit, make her look a little old, and then we'll continue on with the nose and the bridge of the nose, things like that. Perfect. Alright, so for this I'm just going to use the, the jaw, I'm going to build up the jaw slowly. Uh, I want this jaw to kind of extend down like the reference. And it's really important with this also to make this face uh, to continue these cheeks on really low. If you again look back at the reference, very important to have a reference picture, make sure you get one. I'm trying to continue the normal cheekbone and just exaggerate this here. But I want to follow the same contours of the face so it looks more realistic. And see that where we started it's starting to tack up just a little bit more so I can go in and pinch with my fingers exaggerate the expression just to deepen these features here that way when we paint them you're really gonna see them pop
Okay, so I'm using a um, just a regular acrylic paint, just craft paint. I'm gonna put a little bit down. I'm gonna start with the green, see where that goes. And I'm gonna do a dry brushing technique, so just take a little bit, wipe the majority of it off, and then just lightly brush over. It's gonna be really subtle. a few layers of this to kind of bring out some of that color and look get a little bit of the highlighted spots that last layer of paper towel I had put down with the liquid latex is now catching this color and giving that nice highlight
And this concludes our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the prosthetic. Until next time, keep building things, stay creative, and don't forget to go wild with it. I'm Gio from Carvalho Creations, and have yourself a happy Ah! Uh -huh.